Friday, Milton. I'm your host, Emily Pallas, and I welcome you back to YJ Weekly. A lot of things have happened since we last saw each other, so let's start with a little taste of what went down at Rock Project right before we went on break. Is this thing on? This thing is on. When I say hey, you say ho, oh, hey. Good, good. So we, you can all hear me. <laughs> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the fourth annual Rock Project.
thank you to all that performed. The musical talents you share help Milton High School become more than just a place to study. Now, let's go to Megan with our winter sports update. Welcome to our last weekly episode of m, &M Sports Before We Lose a Member. Now for a recap of our games this week. On Monday, boys basketball won 62-42 against Lamoille. Ian Jennings went out for a game high of 38 points. Wednesday night, they defeated the defending Division II state champions, Enosburg, in a close game of 55-51. The boys are in second place so far in their division with a 6-0 record. On Tuesday, girls basketball fell to Enosburg 52-30. Last night, they fell to Lamoille in a hard-fought game. On Wednesday, boys hockey fell to Burn Burton 0-6. Indoor track is really making a name for themselves. Carson Bianchi ranks top three in three different events. For the 1,000 meters, MHS has swept the top three spots. Zach Popke ranks first, Mike Farrow second, and Levi Yoder third. Camille Hanna ranks second for women's high jump. Keep up the good work, Winter Sports teams, and make sure you get out and support them as much as you can. That's all from us here at MM Sports. I'll see you next time. Megan. Now let's check out the weather with Alex. Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is your YJTV weather and uh, we are currently in the mint middle of a winter storm warning. So we should expect rain, sleet and hail and it probably will stop the US mail for a certain time. Now you can use this time wisely by studying for your midterms, which I have to say that because they're here. Oh gosh, they're here, they're here, they're here. We're doomed, we're doomed. They five months of work into a single quiz that you only have an hour and a half to do, and we are all doomed, people. Doomed, 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 doomed. That's all I can say, doomed. Thanks, Alex. Now let's take a look at our local and national news. In local news, the Macy's located in the downtown mall announced that it will be closing its doors in March of this year. What this means for the Church Street with the loss of Canadian tourists drawn in by Macy's is unknown. But in a statement made by the Burlington mayor, the mall redevelopment project will help fill the gap left by Macy's. Quote, the downtown Burlington of the future will be even more vibrant, equitable, and full of opportunity than ever. In other news, Superintendent Ann Bradshaw announced she will be resigning on June 30th of this year. The search for a new superintendent is on the agenda and is a story I will be covering in our fifth episode of Yellow Jacket TV, so stay tuned. In national news, deadly mudslides and flooding have killed 17 people and left 17 people missing in Southern California. Heavy rains early Tuesday caused rivers of mud and debris to run down hillsides in Santa Barbara County demolishing homes in the seaside community of Montecito weeks after wildfires in the area. Many people are on edge awaiting news about missing loved ones. As Martin Luther King Jr. Day is on Monday, students will have the day off from school. Instead of sitting at home playing 2K or watching Gossip Girl for the 10th time, I urge you to get out into the community and to use this day to honor MLK and help those around you. Speaking of helping those around you, have you ever considered joining Interact? Interact is a group committed to volunteering in our community and providing help to those who are less fortunate. Talk to Ms. King for more information about this club. That's all we have for today. Keep asking the tough questions, Milton. 